Hi everyone, welcome to Fun Foods. I'm Miss Lisa and we're here at the Fayette County Public Library today with a delicious dessert called dirt pudding. Now to make dirt pudding, you are going to need a box and a half of Oreos, two boxes of vanilla pudding, one cup of um, powdered sugar, Cool Whip, a brick of cream cheese, and one stick of butter. Now these three items need to be at room temperature. So plan ahead a little bit when you want to make this because this needs to set out 15 or 20 minutes or so before you actually start making this. Now the first thing I did was put the Oreos in a um, Ziploc bag and beat them with my rolling pin so that we have our cookie crumbles. The next thing that we're going to want to do is to go ahead and beat up um, the butter and the cream cheese. So I have my mixer here today and I am going to cut to the cream cheese into some little rectangles so that it beats it easier. And go ahead and put those in at the bottom and along with this we are going to put the butter and eventually the sugar and the Cool Whip. So let me go ahead and cut the butter as well and when we're going to go ahead and get it blending together. If it's super soft you might would be able to do this um, by hand but a mixer just makes it a little easier not to have to worry about it, getting it really creamed well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on and let that make some noise. <laughs> All right, the next thing that we are going to need to do is make the pudding. So you're going to want to have three and a half cups of milk. So I just brought some milk from home. I'm gonna measure it out. And this is two and a half cups. And we should be able to get one more cup here of milk. Perfect. And we're putting that in a bowl. And then we're gonna need both of our vanilla pudding. So we're gonna open up the vanilla pudding carefully so it doesn't spray everywhere. And put it in the milk. And do the same with the other one. And then we're gonna take a whisk and stir it up until it's well blended as well. That's looking pretty good. So we're gonna to want to stir up our pudding. All right, our pudding's looking pretty good. And we're just gonna let that set for just a few minutes while we finish blending things over in the mix in the mixer okay so let me just lift this up a minute and get this off the stirring handle and then we're going to add in the sugar all right so we're going to set that back down and i have one cup of powdered sugar that's going to go in the mixer okay let's go ahead and turn it on and while that's blending i'm going to get the cool whip ready Sure I am. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna lift it up again. Carefully. Okay. Now we're gonna put our Cool Whip in here. And blend it together. And then we're gonna add the pudding sort of all gets combined together in different steps. And then we put the delicious dessert all together. All right, let's blend that up. Okay, you definitely want to make sure that your cream cheese and your butter is blended well in there with all the other ingredients. So I'm thinking that looks pretty well mixed together. Let me just make sure I get it off the bottom. Okay, and then the last thing we need to do is add in our pudding. And it's already starting to set up a little bit. I'm gonna slide that in there. 
And we're going to mix that together as well. Just a little bit together. All right, so while that's finishing mixing, I am going to prep my bowl. Now, you don't have to have a beautiful bowl like this for dirt pudding, but it is a great way to display how pretty this dessert is when you are having company. So I'm going to take my cookie crumbles and I'm going to make a nice layer at the bottom. Okay. Now how many layers you have is totally up to you. Alright, so I'm going to just sort of pat that down. And I think this mixture is quite ready. Let's see once. Now you can make four or five layers or just three layers. It's totally up to you. Go ahead and take this off. Now, if I was at home, I would take this over to the sink and make sure I get all of that off that beater, but I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'm just gonna make one big scoop and turn in here and make sure it looks like it's all well blended and there's no big chunks you don't want some one of your guests biting into a chunk of butter or a chunk of cream cheese that would not go over very well okay now i do suppose if you would want to um, change this up some you could use something other than vanilla pudding I was even thinking about making sort of like a grasshopper dirt pudding by using um, like a, the pistachio and adding some mint that might be a really cool change up of the regular dirt pudding so there's our first layer and then I'm just going to simply scoop this in and when I've done it before about four of these giant scoops makes a pretty good layer so we've got our four scoops and I'm just going to slide that around and then I'm going to put a small layer of cookie crumbles just enough to cover the pudding mixture spread that around let's see if we can't get another four scoops in here all right that looks great so then i'm going to do another layer of cookie looks like i want this to look really pretty so i'm going to get that off of the glass all right let's make another layer of some cookies and then i'm going to use i think probably the rest of what i have One big scoop, two big scoops, three big scoops. Yep, and four about finishes up the pudding mixture. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. Now, if you want it to make it really look like dirt, you can get some gummy worms and put those gummy worms in on this top layer. I know children enjoy those. Let me just spread that around a little bit. Now, it does need to chill. Okay, so this needs to go into the refrigerator for two to four hours before you eat it. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -mm -mm. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Miss Lisa here at the Fayette County Public Library. This has been Dirt Pudding. Come see me again in another two weeks for another awesome recipe. Bye now.